Choose finance. Choose the kinds of things that now are going to be growing in this country and in our region. I ain't tell them don't choose nothing else, you know. You hear them say scary, tell them don't choose nothing else. I ain't say that. <laughs> choose what you want to choose. But I'm telling you, the accounting profession is going to grow. And Mr. Speaker, that brings me to our own government. We have to ensure, right within this government, that the cost of staffing, equipping, and managing the VAT system does not get out of hand. Mind you, I know our financial secretary ain't going to let get out of hand. That's a lady who, she knife sharp, sharp. She will cut the minute she see a problem. But what's important, Mr. Speaker, is that we spread that capability throughout this government, increasing our efficiencies, and taking this opportunity to become more productive and more effective as a government. This global recession is an opportunity for all of us. This is the time, Mr. Speaker, when the people of St. Kitts and Nevis will rise. They will take this challenge head on. Some of us will hurt for a short time. But in the final analysis, the fiscal stability of this government will improve. And the work that this government has been doing so admirably will then get back on the strongest possible footing and be in a position to move on. Mr. Speaker, Mr. Speaker the cost of living, I emphasize, will not increase on imported goods as long as the percentage markup remains the same by merchants. The only thing that can increase the cost of living on imported goods in general, because there's a lot more goods that can go down that will go up based on the averages right now, and the VAT team has, has done it. Just a quick sample of about 20 items here. I could tell you ones that should go down right away. Soap, bleach, cleaning supplies, Toothpaste, mouthwash, appliances. Well, you heard the song and dance about fridge and stove and so. Like if nobody to bring in fridge and stove. <laughs> like if it's, in fact, my friend from number eight today, he seemed upset that the Honorable Minister of Finance said that people bringing in, oh, it was a fridge or a stove? A fridge? A fridge, whatever, from St. Martin yeah. was going to cost less. And he said... Let me know if I find my notes there, buddy. So you mustn't say they're going to upset the, the business people. He said, he said, well, he did say, he didn't exactly say it that way, but that's what he meant. That's what he meant. He said. He more concerned about the business people being affected than the poor people improving themselves. That's what you are coming here to talk about. He said the imports from St. Martin will hurt courts. <laughs> He, didn't, he did not say TDC or Horsford. He said it will hurt courts. He said, he said we should be he said we should be thinking of more economic activity, not less. So an importation of a product from St. Martin is not economic activity. Just because it ain't courts importing it. It ain't economic activity. You know anything about courts that, that amused me though? I was glad he used courts. Sorry, I was glad the honorable member used quotes, no, no disrespect. Because I was president of the Chamber of Commerce when quotes came here. I was president of the Chamber of Industry and Commerce when quotes came to St. Kitts because of the Labour administration. Talk it. I had to fight an almost losing battle within the Chamber of Industry and Commerce about the need for competition. Yeah. and why the government was absolutely right to give the license to courts. Yeah, I told TDC and Horsford's officials at the time that this is going to be good for you because you will become better at what you do. 
I think people can be proud at how TDC and Horsfords have competed with the higher purchase business. It was written up all across the, the Democrat. They said that the Prime Minister was corrupt and the court's people were paying him. In meetings when it was being discussed in the private sector, I had to tell people that they were out of place. Out of place, yes. Mr. Speaker, Senator, the Senator in presenting says something was written across the Democrat. Does he have a pocket in the Democrat? Is something written? <laughs> <laughs> that, that, is a, that, is a valid, that is a valid point. That's a valid point. Mr. Speaker, I would try. So you, you see how it's supposed I to work? Would, That's I exactly what it's really supposed to work. I particularly want to quote from the Democrat. <laughs> That publication, if I could avoid it anyway. But Mr. Speaker, I would draw it because I don't have the exact paper here. That was, that was back in 19, that was back in 1996. It was back in 1996, Mr. Speaker. I'm opposed it. I'm telling you. Mr. Speaker, as a businessman at the time, as a businessman at the time, I could tell you, I made a beeline for the court's people. And I, I, I sold them, I sold them, Mr. Speaker, could you protect me from the crosstalk that's going on in there? Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. But you, Honorable Senator, I think you should be the last talking about that. You should be the last asking for um, cover. So I will not entertain it. Thank you, Mr. As usual, Mr. Speaker, you're wise. I always respect your judgment, your, your, your ruling. Mr. Speaker, the point I'm trying to make is that as a businessman at the time, I had to find ways to make sure that I could add courts to my list of customers. I am saying to the business people out there, and, and there have been other cases of that, Mr. Speaker. There have been other cases of matters to do with deregulation or whatever you call it, or privatization and, and, and removing the monopoly from, from um, telecommunications. And there have been a number of, 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 you know, we've been accused then and now of being favorable to foreign business. Um, Mr. Speaker, with, with duty-free shopping, we have, we have, Mr. Speaker, has anybody been observing, has anybody been observing what's happening with that supermarket business? What's it called? Best for less? Best buy? Mr. Speaker, what will drive this country forward is market competition, market sensitivity, market awareness, business people being able to compete here in St. Kitts and Nevis and being able to compete with competitors abroad. We have to make sure that we create the right environment, and I think we have done so. In fact, we're being criticized right now for giving away too many concessions. You've heard that repeatedly. I was quite fascinated to hear members on the opposite side speak about that, because these are the people in the past who have said that we're not doing enough for business and so on. But Mr. Speaker, I was speaking about the issue to do with imports. And I made the point that cost of living will not increase on importing goods as long as the business community does not do what it has generally always done and jack up markups to try to maintain their same profit levels on a system that is designed to try to bring their own costs down and to pass on a few more dollars, perhaps in some cases, to the government. 